your microphone and video.
Để đi. Đây nè. Good morning.
Hi, Joe. Hey, Henry. Yeah. Say, uh, can you? I, I can tried to. Is, I, uh, I, 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 I'm trying to add you as a co-host, but somehow still have some some trouble. Let me see how I can do it. Okay. Good morning, Henry. Yeah, good morning. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Okay. Let me see. Uh, yeah, sorry, I have to... We have to... Yeah, sorry, we have to, uh, to mute our participants except uh, the speakers uh, at the moment. Um, Okay, yeah, it's about time to to, to start. Uh, I'm trying to get Mr. Joe Patterson to assist in the process here, but uh, still have a little bit of uh, difficulty. But any anyway, um, we begin mom momentarily. Yeah. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, well, thank you very much for uh, taking your time to join us um, uh, today, especially with uh, uh, Mr. Choki uh, Simon Chuntak, uh, who will be presenting on the um, carbon crypto uh, and blockchain technology uh, project. Uh, but uh, first, yeah, I want to uh, thank all of you for taking your time. Uh, from different location, different places, some of you in Asia, in Europe, and also in the US, so multiple time zones. And um, thank you very much uh, uh, for being here with us uh, uh, today. And um, as usual, you know, we have the safe harbor statement and uh, you are all familiar with that. And so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but uh, of course, you know, um, uh, some of the statements we'll be sharing with you uh, contain uh, uh, what we call uh, forward-looking uh, information, uh, things that pertain to the future. And uh, we must be uh, aware that you know, there'll be uh, known and unknown uncertainties, risk and factors that uh, uh, may uh, differ from what um, you know, we uh, uh, try to to accomplish. So you know, such factors include many other things, and so please uh, be careful. You know, and um, investing into a um, uh, 
low price security, just as ours, you know, has uh, certain uh, risks, so it has to, uh, to be appropriate with your risk tolerance. You know? So please uh, be mindful of that. Um, and also, uh, I will just take a, um, a few minutes to go uh, over, like an overview of uh, the company. Uh, I believe uh, most of you, if not all of you already know about PSI Group, but some of you may be new. So I wanna share just a few minutes before uh, our friend, uh, Mr. Choke, he will be sh uh, sharing information mainly on the uh, CO210 carbon uh, carbon credit or carbon mitigation program. Yeah, yeah PSI Group is established in June 1982, uh, trading symbol PSIL, as you know. Uh, we have um, 40 billion shares uh, authorized, roughly about 27, 28 billion shares issued in outstanding uh, common stock, about 180,000 shares of preferred stock. And <clears throat> our corporate strategy, <clears throat> is to build and deploy valuable resources uh, and participate in businesses that have large and growing market potential. And we want to create long-term value and provide point of exit for our investors through uh, capital appreciation, or sometimes can be a spin-off so, uh, uh, or set of business units. Our scope of business includes the Luxembourg Bank Funds, a group of uh, uh, bank funds based in Luxembourg, uh, for investment into real estate, uh, renewable energy, uh, agriculture, healthcare, uh, some uh, other projects in natural resources and consumer industrial goods as well. And then our other major focus is the uh, establishment of the Asia Diamond Exchange in, in Vietnam uh, within a free economic zone. We've been working on it for uh, three and a half, almost four years now. and. Uh, now we have all the ingredients uh, ready and we're waiting for the COVID situation in Vietnam uh, in particular and uh, worldwide in, in general so that we, uh, we can start, um, you know, the... Um, and uh, we also have advisory and cons consulting services uh, through our Philux Capital Advisors. Uh, we advise and and also consult for other uh, clients uh, in the US and also in Asia internationally. Uh, we've accomplished some of the major projects like helping to take the first Vietnamese uh, company, Cavico Public and NASDAQ. We listed uh, our first company uh, on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange in the past and so forth. We also help in a number of companies at the moment. And our merger and acquisition, uh, not only uh, advising uh, our clients, but we also uh, manage our own uh, principal in-house merchant acquisition uh, program as well. For example, we just signed a, a letter of intent uh, to acquire a five grain um, uh, spirit uh, company in the, in Jilin province in China. And we uh, have also uh, other clients, other targets under review as well. Um, uh, we also participate in special situations, investing in uh, situations that may have potential to generate uh, superior uh, return on investment. Those are very special cases. Uh, this that just uh, don't come by you know, every day, but uh, from time to time, we do have those opportunities. And uh, very exciting for us is the uh, new initiative uh, with the blockchain and crypto technologies. You know, we sponsor and invest in blockchain and uh, crypto technology initiative like the Asia Diamond Exchange and the Carbon Mitigation Program. Uh, and we also have uh, studied uh, a few other projects that are uh, in the early state right now, but uh, we'll be able to share uh, with you in the very near future. And these are our subsidiaries, the um, Luxembourg Bank Funds, Felix Capital Advisor, Asia Diamond Exchange. We have a subsidiary in Vietnam, PSI, Vietnam Investment and Development Company. And we have American Pacific Resources, uh, American Pacific Plastics, uh, which was set up to, um, to acquire 
Vietnam based Vietnam film. Unfortunately, you know, we haven't been able to complete the audit for Vietnam films uh, due to a number of reasons. First, the chain of auditor, and then when our new auditor came aboard, you know, we got hit with COVID. He was uh, um, contracted with, uh, with COVID himself and was in, in India for quite uh, some time. And Vietnam has been uh, going through a, a recent lockdown uh, starting to open up right now. So hopefully uh, our auditor can come back and complete the audit for Vietnam films so who can consolidate uh, their numbers with, with ours. And of course, things have changed uh, uh, quite a bit uh, due to the uh, COVID pandemic, you know, and, uh, operationally and, and otherwise. But, um, you know, we will uh, try to complete that uh, as soon as possible. Uh, we also have a uh, subsidiary called Fivite Healthcare, uh, which is involved in a, a, a joint venture and also a new development, uh, which we will announce sometime uh, down the road. Uh, and the new, uh, a name Empire Spirit Inc. Actually, uh, it's the old subsidiary of PSI that was established way back in 2004 under the name of uh, Profimax. We've uh, tried to do a couple of uh, merger, um, but um, um, have not been uh, uh, able to uh, to consummate in the past. But now. Uh, uh, the company has the name has been changed to Empire Spirit, uh, with a number of our shareholders having received uh, a dividend from uh, this company in the past, uh, are still uh, uh, active in the company. So we'll be uh, listing this as a separate uh, public company uh, down the road after uh, completing the uh, uh, acquisition. It's a subsidiary under PSI right now. And um, uh, most Exciting is today's presentation on the CO, CO21 Carbon Corp. Uh, is a company uh, registered in the state of Wyoming to manage the carbon mitigation program using blockchain and crypto uh, currency. I mean, uh, a technology which Mr. Choki will uh, share with you in more detail. You know, um, uh, we have a very strong and experienced management team committed to create long term sustainable value for our company and shareholders. <clears throat> and we invest and participate uh, in selective industry in special situation that potentially generate superior returns for our uh, shareholders. Uh, we provide M&A advisory services to international clients uh, through our subsidiary, Phylax Capital Advisor. Uh, we intend to, to, to up, uplist our stock on a, onto a major exchange. Actually, OTC market is not the play where we want to belong because yeah, of the scope of things we are, we are trying to accomplish and in order to be able uh, to, to compete uh, internationally, yeah, we will have to, to make some changes uh, in the near future to get our uh, stock on a major exchange. And we have Philux, uh, uh, I mean, five group Luxembourg bank funds that Asia Diamond Exchange, the blockchain initiative, uh, the acquisition of five grain treasure of spirit and another, uh, a number of other things that we're also working um, at the moment. I think you know, all these things will add a lot of uh, value to uh, our uh, company and, uh, and stock price in, in the future, even though you know, we've been going through a, a transition period with uh, sometimes you know, very heart-wrenching and very uh, difficult for, for our shareholders uh, uh, to, um, to witness, but uh, you know, that, that will change. So um, yeah, just, just a quick summary. And then uh, I would like to, to turn the forum over to uh, uh, our um, speaker, Mr. Joki Simon Juntek, so that uh, you know, he can share with you more on uh, the exciting uh, uh, information the program today on the CO210 Carbon Corporation, Carbon Mitigation Program for the World. Um, Mr. Joki, please. Uh, uh, I'll take the forum is yours. Yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Henry, for the opening remarks and also for the introduction. Uh, just realized that the CO210 is actually a subsidiary number nine in five groups, correct? So it's number nine, it's a good number yes. for uh, CO210. So uh, I would like to uh, greet to all of you, uh, especially the one in uh, 
United States, North America, in Europe, and also in Asia. So good morning to, uh, to all of you in uh, North America, and uh, good afternoon, sometime afternoon in uh, Europe, and uh, good evening in Asia. Well, I spent almost uh, one and a half years uh, in Pennsylvania in about uh, 20 years ago. So it is, uh, it is good to be, uh, you know, greet to all of you, maybe some of you came from Pennsylvania. Uh, so uh, good morning to all of you, but uh, also to uh, all of, of the audience uh, today. So uh, let me share my uh, screen, uh, Henry. Can I? Uh, yeah, okay. Yes, please. Yeah. Can you see my screen now? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Can see it, yes. <clears throat> okay, so uh, maybe most of you uh, have a question in mind. What does it mean by CO2, 1, O, carbon, COP? So basically, this is also a principle why uh, myself and also Henry uh, developed this company. This is the uh, principle of uh, why we want to reduce you know, the emission of uh, CO2 or CO2 emission together so you know s1 and to reduce it until zero so co2 the co2 itself the co2 and one is together s1 we are not uh, acting uh, uh, by ourselves but we as uh, you know the human in the uh, planet earth have to be act together as one to make sure that the emission is uh, getting less or become zero so that's the um, you know the basic principle uh, what does it mean of the co 210 so just to you know give you a clue on uh, uh, you know the meaning of the company names so myself is uh, my name is Choki Simanjuntak I'm from Indonesia so uh, I uh, spend uh, most of my professional careers in uh, business development in uh, renewable energy uh, for the past uh, seven eight years so that's why this uh, this uh, project actually came based on my previous experience okay company purpose the co210 carbon corporation vision the vision is to become number one environmentally sustainable crypto on earth which will be adored by individuals and institutional impact investors. The tagline is the individuals. Yeah? Become number one environmental and sustainable crypto on earth, adored by individuals and institutional impact investor. What is our mission? The mission is to accelerating combat climate change through massive participation, individuals and institutional, in real environmentally sustainable projects supported by blockchain technology plus IoT, which will be impact millions of people. So the project will be initiated in Indonesia because I base in Indonesia right now. Also in Vietnam uh, together parallelly because uh, the uh, renewable energy project growth in ASEAN is mostly in Indonesia and Vietnam, but also other countries. But we will start with Indonesia and Vietnam and then goes to Asian countries and then to worldwide. Again, this is the notes, uh, reduce you know, the, the meaning of CO210 is to reduce CO2 and other GHG. GHG is a, a greenhouse gases with one spirit together towards zero carbon or decarbonize. So it starts with a problem. So we have five problems at the moment uh, to drive this project uh, have to be executed or have to be uh, implemented soon. The first problem is, uh, as we all know, that the um, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, or UNFCCC, together with the Paris Agreement and Kyoto Protocol in 2016, where Indonesia, Vietnam, and also other, uh, uh, most of the countries in the world, a part of it has agreed to maintain the Earth's temperature will not exceed by 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2030. So that's the you know, agreement uh, uh, among all of us. 
Uh, and also, I think uh, in the next month, uh, there will be a COP26, which is will be held in uh, Glasgow, where the president will come together again, you know, uh, to, you know, uh, a strength, so strengthen the uh, how to combat climate change in uh, uh, for our uh, uh, for our planet yeah that's the first uh, problem second problem is uh, therefore because we need we agree to reduce this 1.5 degrees celsius not to exceed by 1.5 degrees celsius by 2030 therefore we need to reduce the ghg the greenhouse gases which is the root cause of global climate change this ghg mainly are six gases co2 cs4 n2o and so on which each gas can be calculated as CER or CO2 emission reduction equivalent. Target for Indonesia in 2030 is to reduce 834 million tons of CR. That's problem number two. Problem number three, currently the CER or the uh, carbon emission reductions is being tediously registered, validated, verified, and certified centrally under UNFCC methodology by a few independent institutions, mostly in the US and Europe, where the CR letter can be traded as carbon credit voluntarily. That's uh, problem number, number three. Problem number four, for the past five years, the market for carbon credits is nearly zero. It's worthless, it's uh, worth nothing, it's zero. And uh, it is due to complexity of the process. Uh, many companies, project have less appetite to, to be engaged into the carbon credit opportunity. So that's problem number four. And uh, problem number five, many environmentally sustainable projects, waste, agriculture, forestry, and so on, fail to get financial support, especially at the initial or development stage due to the above reason, you know, because of the tedious uh, process of uh, to getting the carbon credits. So I mentioned several times about carbon credits, but maybe some of you uh, maybe not well aware of this uh, carbon credits. Just to remind that uh, currently in anywhere in the world, in any countries, they implement what they call a carbon tax and carbon credits. Carbon tax basically to penalize a company or institution or industry that uh, uh, emit the carbon uh, CO2. But uh, on the other hand, the carbon credits is like an uh, incentive uh, that given to any activities, any projects that can reduce or eliminate the uh, carbon emissions. Uh, so that's the difference. So uh, carbon tax mostly arranged and uh, regulated by the government. But carbon credits, it is uh, regulated in, uh, you know, depends on the uh, region. Uh, there is a, like a uh, North America region, Europe region, Asia. So, but it's not one yet. It's not, not one spirit yet. So everyone has their own uh, policy and regulation. So just to give you more explanation on the carbon credit, I will uh, uh, present to you a short video about the carbon credit. So it's uh, giving you a better understanding of the uh, carbon credit. And let me share the, the video here. Let us break down for you how this all works. Every time an organization uses a resource that relies on burning fossil fuels, it creates carbon emissions, also known as a carbon footprint. Everybody has a carbon footprint. But when these emissions enter the atmosphere, they accelerate climate change, bringing, among other things, more extreme weather. Thankfully, the plummeting costs of low carbon technologies and more resource efficient practices mean that many organizations are reducing their footprints, becoming more resilient and saving on energy expenditure. But reducing emissions is challenging, something that doesn't happen overnight. And with our present systems of energy and land use, 
Preventing any carbon dioxide emissions is not currently possible for most organisations. This is where carbon credits come in. Buying carbon credits compensates for the unavoidable emissions you create today by financing projects that reduce or absorb carbon emissions anywhere in the world. Carbon credits increase the health and prosperity of communities around the world and combat climate change by financing projects. Projects that reduce the need to burn fossil fuels or draw greenhouse gases directly out of the air. Accreditations from internationally recognized standards give you the assurance that the projects producing your credits deliver the positive environmental and social impacts they set out to achieve. Moreover, your credits help finance projects that would not otherwise happen. So as well as offsetting your emissions, you are also supporting more sustainable forms of growth. How good is that? Yes, uh, sounds very good, right? But in reality, to implement those uh, carbon credit is very, as I mentioned earlier, is very tedious. Why is tedious? Uh, let me share you this. We go back to the uh, previous presentation. So this is the process of uh, how carbon credit uh, can be uh, can be claimed. Yeah. First, we start with the project idea note, a project design document, TDD validation, very key verification, issuance, uh, and then the, uh, goes to the uh, project developers, and then they can sell it as the certified uh, CER, and then goes to the wholesalers, retailers, and then. Uh, buy by the end buyers and then after that retirements so it looks simple but actually in reality i've done this before so i, I spend like uh, uh, for one project for one carbon credit it takes like uh, one and a half to two years even uh, just to get this uh, to get the cr uh, you know certified so what happened is if you look at this there, there will be a consultant needed to do this PDD, project design documents. There is also auditors need to do these validations. Another and auditors to do the verifications. And then for the issuance, issuers will also have to be, you know, uh, done this and then to, to certify the carbon credits. And then after that, uh, it goes to the market and it needs wholesaler or retailer to sell it to the market. It takes time. It takes uh, also a fee or, or money. To, to, to make sure that this uh, CR can be uh, buy by the end buyers. So all of this process from uh, project idea notes, PDD up to the uh, end buyer takes a lot of time, take a lot of intermediaries, take a lot of fees, take a lot of consultant, take a lot of uh, auditors. It is very, uh, you know, frustrating. Many of us say, uh, you know, because we know this uh, on the CDM era, CDM is a clean development mechanism era, but we, you know, we, uh, we, we change it. Our jargon is a very, uh, like uh, CDM is a, a complicated and difficult mechanism. It's not easy as, uh, you know, as the uh, video as uh, I, saw it, I saw it earlier. So based on this, based on this tedious carbon credit process, we come up with the new uh, you know, in the new process, a new way how to develop this, and then uh, with the spirit that we have to accelerate, uh, you know, the uh, combating climate change. How? Solution. First, we will do, we will create a disruptive, decentralized new carbon market system using blockchain technology fuel with carbon token. The token name is carbon, you know, just to get it easier. And actually, the symbols is just like in my background, the green balls with C, C is a stand for carbon. Uh, green balls, it's not black balls. Carbon used to be black, but uh, since we are expect that this project will make our planet greener, so I change it to green balls. That's also one of the you know, uh, philosophy behind the symbols of the token. So. The system will maintain the TACCC, transparent, accurate, consistent, complete, and comparable principles. 
with a strategic improvement, which is using Six Sigma, where I spent almost 10 years on that. Uh, I'm the master black belt uh, from General Electric, and we'll direct manage the carbon engagement in smart contracts. Smart contract is a uh, contracts developed under the blockchain technology. Therefore, uh, with the carbon blockchain plus IoT on the next uh, for the for the uh, verification, and its crypto token will empower the real environmentally sustainable projects or renewable energy, uh, waste, agriculture, forestry, etc. Within Indonesia, Vietnam, ASEAN uh, countries, and worldwide. So that's the solution that we offer uh, on this project. So. What is our unique value pro proposition? This is very important. Basically, all the uh, marketing people or the uh, blockchain uh, person will look at what is the value of the token uh, you know, uh, offered. First, uh, we simplified fast and yet robust carbon credit process with Six Sigma deployment. Second, we can we still accommodate the existing unsold CR or verified emission reduction among, done by CDM or gold standard or Vera as uh, you know, shown in the previous video, which will be appraised accordingly. And the third, we encourage everyone to participate combating climate change, including individuals. At the time being, it's very difficult for every every one of us in the, as an individual to to participate in, uh, to you know, say to buy carbon credit in the market. Normally, it's a big companies like uh, you know uh, Microsoft or uh, Google, you know, to buy this as a as corporation. But as individual, it's very rare. It's very difficult to to buy say one ton or two tons of uh, carbon. So it's it's, it's, a, it's a new approach by by having a carbon uh, by having a blockchain technology. We can do that. Even we can just buy one kilo of a CR of a carbon emission reduction. Number four, a project will accumulate 10 years CR in advance. This is the principle how we can accelerate combat climate change and renewable second 10 years cycle with the verified by IoT deployment. Number five, border resource of CR, any countries, any region. This is not the same as current practice because current practice, you know, Europe have their own CR system, which is called uh, uh, ETF. You know, uh, in North America, also they have own their own uh, CR uh, market, and then also Asia in China, they're developing their own market. But now we have a border source of CR and limitless market since we will put it uh, the token or the you know carbon token in exchange for CR. So. We will uh, we will leverage the uh, uh, crypto exchange in the world like Binance, like Coinbase, like KuCoin, and so and so on, as the market for the carbon. So it is another solution. Uh, why while uh, many of uh, CR holder right now very, uh, find difficulties to find buyers, but now not not because you know the market is there. It's ready. So the utilization of the carbon token will be first as a fuel for all activities or projects related to combating global climate change. So this is the first principle that we will accelerating, you know, the how to, you know, to get to achieve this uh, zero emission by uh, 2050 or 2060 in some uh, other countries. Second, as a strategic investment product. As the token uh, to uh, total token supply will be fixed at one billion token, or one hundred um, um, uh, one sorry one thousand million token, which is equal to one gigaton of carbon for ten years, while demand of this uh, carbon credits actually very big here yeah, about twenty three gigaton per year for CR. The third uh, utilization of carbon token is compliancy purpose. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, corporation wants to offset the carbon. So as an zero target in 2050 or 2060, so it's a compliancy purpose. And uh, number four, as a crypto can be used as a, you know, a payment as a, a exchange uh, for say, they can buy uh, 
a product from uh, green projects or from merchants that sell green products or uh, or uh, can uh, finance a uh, green activity and so on and so on. So it can be the utilization of the token itself can be fuel, investment product, compliancy, and crypto. This is very important because all of the uh, investors in the crypto market right now will look for this. You know why we need to uh, invest in carbon token because this for reason, this four main reason: the fuel, investment product, compliance purpose, and as a crypto. Uh, next question is why now? So before I, I, I and Henry uh, implement this project, we do some uh, uh, quick survey in Indonesia, mostly on the for the millennial, millennials, the new generation, and asking whether you know they interested to participate in the uh, combating uh, climate change, whether they are interested to invest in uh, any activities that related to. Uh, combat climate change and so on and so on. So the, the result is uh, is very, very good and very surprised that all the millennials, 89% uh, aware of the global climate change. 96% of them ready to support combat climate change. 81% ready to support uh, combat climate change by buying investment product. And 77% 70, 70, of them ready to support combating climate change with riskier investment products such as stock and crypto. So uh, the COVID situation right now is uh, actually is also speed up you know, uh, the awareness and also the interest to, towards the crypto industry, crypto market. So uh, the next year, 2022, it is uh, predicted that it's going to be a boom for uh, 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 renewable energy project or social initiative that related to carbon credits because of this uh, survey result. Well, if you look at if we look at the market size, as I mentioned earlier, the market is big. This is based on the uh, study done by the uh, uh, McKinsey. So we have enormous market size: 23 gigatons of CO2 emission to be reduced in year 2030. So it's huge. Uh, right now, the token itself is only cover one gigaton because it's one billion uh, token. So it's one token related to one ton. So it is only less than five uh, percent yeah, of the uh, of the market. So we are not worried of the of the market because the market is so huge. 23, 23 gigatons. We only cover just one ton of it. And also, it's uh, mentioned by the McKinsey that the market for carbon credits is expected to be is estimated to be about 50 billion US dollars by 2030. So it is a huge number again, huge market again for carbon credits. How uh, you want to do it? Of course, we cannot do it with that very tedious process. We have to make it simplified. We have to implement Six Sigma. We have to make sure that everyone's uh, from a buyer side, from supplier side also happy with this process and then we can expedite uh, on the uh, combat climate change. This is from the Indonesia alone. So target to reduce of CO2 is, as I mentioned at the very earlier page, is about 834 million year uh, in uh, 2030. So all together in Asian country is estimated around two to three gigatons. This is Asian alone. Altogether, uh, worldwide is uh, about 23 gigatons I mentioned in the uh, previous page. Yeah? Competition. In terms of the competition, uh, there are some uh, white paper regarding the blockchain as well. Uh, at least I found a two, one from uh, Korea and one from Wyoming, Universal of Wyoming as well. Uh, but uh, until now, those two is, uh, has not been implemented yet. I think because of uh, the difficulties to find the real, uh, real, uh, real projects that related to the uh, uh, carbon climate change. Uh, in October 2021, so this month, uh, uh, there are also two tokens announced in Indonesia and Singapore uh, that uh, they also will focus on the carbon as well. But uh, one is called Roxy. Uh, it is promoted by Indonesian entrepreneur uh, Peter Gonta, but they are focusing on the forestry product. 
So plan to launch in Q1 2022, so almost the same as us, but us is more on focusing on the renewable energy side or on the uh, energy saving side. In, uh, the other one is uh, based in Singapore. They are focusing on the wind farm in China. So uh, this is the competition. Uh, we are actually uh, thank, thankful for this because uh, with the competition, we, we can compare ourselves with others. And also uh, the awareness of the carbon token or carbon credit is become increasing. Uh, more and more. It is good also for us, uh, even though we know that the market is huge, uh, we don't think that this is going to be a fierce competition among, uh, you know, the carbon or the credit, uh, the uh, carbon credit players. So this is our carbon development roadmap. So we will start with the renewable energy project first, then energy saving projects, and then heat recovery projects. That's the phase one. Phase two will be cover industrial processing projects, food processing waste projects, and the phase three we uh, we will cover agriculture projects, forestry projects, and other land use projects. So basically, it is every phase will uh, become steady in about three to four years. So altogether, in about uh, ten years altogether. Phase one, phase two, phase three. This is on the carbon itself. The next phase of the token itself uh, uh, beyond carbon, we will develop. Uh, what we call water, uh, water token, ocean token, air token. So basically, this is about our environmental, about our planet, about our sustainability of uh, our living. So uh, again, uh, this is probably different than other token that have a different projects or different, uh, you know, vision mission of the uh, crypto. But uh, this is what make us different from others. So the business model is a simple, uh, simplified uh, by this chart. Yeah. So any projects uh, goes to the carbon blockchain system uh, through the TSCC ledgers, uh, which is or, or we can call it as a, a smart contract. And uh, this project will be uh, receive some amount of token as the exchange of the carbon credits. Then carbon credit is sells in the exchange, in the crypto exchange, and can buy or purchase by the investors, any investor, individual or institution, and they can receive the token. You know, they can use it as a, you know the utilization that I mentioned earlier. There is four, yeah? uh, as a, you know, as a, a investment, as the crypto, and so on and so on. So one carbon token representing one ton of CR. Initially, we will issue forty six. 46 million uh, token, uh, which is uh, will be issued and circulated at the inception price of one dollar. This is the, for the first years. Token will be mint and burn total circulation one billion, uh, and according to the growth and maturity of the projects, the token will be listed in Binance and other possible exchanges. And the next stage, token can be used in merchants such as coffee shop, organic shops, etc. Uh, this is more uh, detail uh, uh, process map, but it is still high level. But just to show you that uh, there are some uh, stakeholders here, the project owner, the CO210, the exchange, the buyer investor, and merchant. So I think uh, you can uh, later read this, uh, you know, the process map later on, but uh, basically it's just uh, a detail of, you know, this business model. And this is how we can make uh, profit or make benefit from uh, for uh, CO210. You know, every CR that produced by one project, we will share the uh, uh, with the number of the token. If the CR ton per year is less than one thousand, so we will share 50-50. Uh, the more the more uh, num the, the more the size of the CR, then the the more the project owner we can get. Uh, get the token uh, contribution. So 50-50, 60-40, 70-30, 80-20. Uh, most of the project will be laid between uh, 1,000 to 100,000 ton per year. So on number two or number three. This is the where the 
most project, you know, renewable energy project will be, uh, uh, you know, uh, lay in this category. So we will expect to have uh, like a 30 to 40 percent of the token issued uh, by the projects. This is the token production plan. As I mentioned earlier, the total numbers of token will be 1 billion. So every year we will produce a different amount of token. Uh, first year is 46, second is uh, like uh, 60 or 80 million, and the third year is 100 million. But altogether, as a cumulative, will be capped to 1 billion token. Why we want to cap it? Because we want to make sure that you know the uh, supply is fixed so the price is also will be stable or at least not decrease because of the supply demand principle token carbon product specification a symbol will be carbon logo is just like my background just like c with green balls total supply fixed supply of 1 billion token the value is fluctuated based on market appreciation Blockchain protocol, we will use Binance Smart Chain. Smart contract standard, we will use ERC20, fungible token. And programming language, we will use Solidity. And utility, again, this is very important for all uh, blockchain community. First, fuel for combating global climate change projects. Second, strategic investment product. Third, compliance purpose for carbon offset. And fourth, as a cryptocurrency. Okay, next is about myself, uh, I think I already introduced myself. I have uh, uh, seven years in Roman energy as a Six Sigma Master Black Belt in GE, and uh, altogether about 25 years. Uh, next is the, uh, this is Henry Paman, the chairman and the co-founder of the project of the CO210. He, I think most of you know Henry very well. He's had a 30 years experience and uh, graduate from uh, Harvard and uh, California at Berkeley. Berkeley. And uh, as uh, he mentioned at the beginning, he uh, lead a lot of uh, project, a lot of uh, companies, uh, at least nine subsidiaries, including CO210. And this is a core team, our core team, and it's keep counting. We plan to have for the first initial uh, team will be around 12%. Right now, it's uh, like uh, we have a five, but it will be keep growing and growing until uh, you know uh, first years. Yeah, so we we have we will have uh, twelve percent in our uh, project team. And this is very important milestone that I think uh, all of us need to take a note and uh, take the uh, yeah take a note because this is very important, especially for investors. So. This month until next month, until November 20, uh, uh, this year, November this year, we will develop a, a website called www.co210.io uh, launch. And then we will start to collect the CR from uh, projects. So, so we have uh, pipelines already. In Indonesia, we have more, more than 100 projects ready for this. And in Vietnam, we have more than 50 projects, uh, mo mostly in uh, solar uh, projects. Are ready to be, uh, you know, accumulate and put into the system, into the blockchain systems, and in between December this year and before IDO, IDO is initial decentralized exchange public offering. We will do private sales, pre-sale, flash, flash sale, airdrop, bounty transfer, which is actually to to uh, introduce the token, the concept to the market. So that's the you know marketing approach for uh, for the token, and this is the first uh, uh, public offering, which will be done in 20 January next year. So it's good uh, date, good number, 220122. So 22 January next year we will do this IDO initial decentralized exchange public offering where everyone can start to purchase uh, the token normally with uh, a discount then the next milestone which is also very important is the listed in the exchange which is called ieo initial centralized exchange public offering which will be it is planned to be to be happen in 
22 or 22nd April next year. So it's again, we pick a good number again, 220422. So after that, we will you know start operationally in a in a you know full speed. But this is the uh, very important dates uh, from now until the next six months. So please stay tuned with us, mark the dates, and follow our social media, whether in uh, Instagram, whether in uh, uh, Telegram, in uh, WhatsApp, uh, TikTok, uh, Snapchat, anywhere, and don't miss this opportunity because uh, this is where we can offer token with a special discount before it goes to you know open public in 22 april 22 thank you i think that's about it uh, henry i uh, return to you get back to you thank you well thank you very much uh, jockey and uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your time as well and you know uh, jockey himself is an accomplished and seasoned professional with uh, more than 25 years of broad and progressive industrial experiences, and seven years uh, of them in renewable energy and uh, eight years in business process improvement with uh, 35 Six Sigma black, master black belt, you know, and more than uh, 10 years in uh, global business development. Yeah, he, he used to work with uh, Schlumberger with uh, GE and also got his uh, MBA in Monash University. And he's a, he's a strategic thinker and also a very excellent, uh, has excellent analytical and communication skills and a strong team player. And it's a great pleasure for us to, to have Jokey lead this uh, process. And uh, you know, he's uh, a doer, he's, he's, he's done it. And you know, now accumulating the experience, the expertise uh, to um, uh, spearhead to, to lead this uh, project. Um, uh, not uh, only for, uh, for, for Indonesia, not only for Vietnam, not only for Asia, but you know, it will be all for, for on a global scale. And uh, we believe um, blockchain and crypto technologies um, are here to stay and will grow much, much further. That's why we started out with the AD um, development uh, with, the, uh, with the token. And we will announce that uh, uh, very soon. Sorry, we're supposed to have already uh, provided uh, you with uh, uh, some update on that, but uh, we will do when it is right. Uh, I know everybody is anxious to hear it. And, uh, and uh, with the um, timetable, the schedule that uh, Jogi has uh, shared with us, we'll be moving uh, very fast on this uh, too, you know, CO210 uh, uh, carbon. Uh, 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 project we we do it uh, quite rapidly. So in the next three months to six months, there'll be a lot of uh, exciting news to share with you. Uh, uh, today, probably that will be it for for our um, uh, presentation. And thank you again for your time and, and patience with us. And uh, we will be announcing uh, uh, noteworthy news uh, uh, when when it's ready. Uh, you know, I know everybody is anxious uh, to hear a lot of things. Uh, and uh, we will let everybody know at the same time. I'm not going to share just to one or two persons. So please, and if those who, who, who text me or write emails, you know, please forgive me. I just cannot answer uh, all of those individually. Again, thank you uh, for your uh, patience, for your support, and for uh, uh, your loyalty. Uh, we believe we have uh, something very extraordinary uh, with this uh, uh, carbon uh, CO2 program here, and uh, we can expect to uh, to see a lot of uh, good things uh, uh, in the uh, upcoming days and months. Again, thank you very much, and those of you in Asia, uh, good night, and uh, also good afternoon for those who still have afternoon, and of course, America, we still have uh, a full day of work, and uh, um, God bless you, and uh, stay safe and healthy. Thank you very much. Yeah, goodbye for now. Thank you, bye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.